Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. I hope all is well with you all. It's about uh, 1 o'clock and uh, your little brother's up grinding. But, you know, I just wanted to talk to us family about faith in God. Faith in ourselves must be completely encased in our creator, in God, by whatever name you call him. Yes, we must have faith in ourselves, absolutely. We are the vehicle that God manifests himself in, but we are the product of God. So us being the product of God, who is the maker of the manufacturing plant called the universe, God wants to test the wits. He wants to test the ends of his product to see what's the strength of that which he has created. And since we are the creation of God, we have no right to say what is the degree of test that he should put on us. Mm. Because he knows ultimately, or he will know, what we can bear. So that we can be taken from the assembly line and put into service. Ah. Brothers and sisters, each one of us have to go through this life with gratitude. Thanking God for whatever he puts on us. For he doesn't put on the, us that which we cannot bear. There's a saying that he gives his toughest battles to his greatest soldiers. Job was a man who was loved by God. He had it all, brothers and sisters. But God took it from him to test him. To see if he was what God ultimately knew he was. But God just wanted to fact check it. And ve to, to verify it, what he already knew. So God put his servant Job in the hands of Satan. But see, God put his hedge around Job. So we can't never think that we can't be touched because each one of us are touchable. It's only the goodness of God that covers us in uh, is like a shelter for us. So we have to seek refuge in not of ourselves, but in him and strive to be found in his bosom. That's the ultimate protection, brothers and sisters. Not in and of ourselves. No matter how much power we think we possess, it can be taken from us. The materialism, the status in life can be taken from us. Faith through whatever we're going through that we know there's a better and a brighter day coming. Without a test, we can't have a testimony. Right? So our faith must never be in the promise of God. Because what if it doesn't come when you expect it? God <laughs> delivers on his word, on his promise when he gets ready to. And we don't know exactly when it will play out. So that's why our faith is never in things, in trinkets. 
Our faith is in God, brothers and sisters. He's not a liar. But he, he man, he got to try us. <laughs> Do we think we will be left alone saying we believe and won't be tried as those before us were tried? God hates this world, brothers and sisters. This is not his world. What are we working for? We're supposed to be working to build the kingdom of heaven on earth. Jesus said, I'm in the world. I'm not of this world. The scripture says love, but this world is enmity with God, brothers and sisters. So it's okay to get your nice car, big house. We should have luxury, money, good, good homes, friendships, and all walks of life. But that's not put our faith ultimately in these things, brothers and sisters. Because the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, brothers and sisters. Real vision is not solely for yourself. It's for the service of others. We were born to help make other people successful. We were born to serve other people as God serves us all day, every day. Everything we see in motion that God created serves us. Everything. Nature. That chicken that some of our people ate tonight wanted to sustain this life, but his life was given up to serve our life. Right? That grass wanted to sustain his life, but it gave his life to the cattle. Huh? Come on, brothers and sisters. Gratitude for this, this uh, cycle of life, brothers and sisters. It's so much grander than us. You can tell the righteous, they walk the earth in humility, giving thanks. This your brother Monroe Jr. Faith, brothers and sisters. Faith, faith, faith. Show me a man with faith. I show you a man with works. We have to go to work to usher in the kingdom of heaven on earth. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.